In this video, we are going to see totally unedited management of a cataract with grade 3 plus nuclear sclerosis. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. We can see very nice red glow in this case. The antechamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and a side port is made on the left side of the main incision about two and a half clock hours away. The microscope is OMS 90 from Topcon. And now capsular excess is being done with the help of this utrita forceps. Raise a capsular tag. The tag is guided anticlockwise all around and an optimum size to excess of about 5.25 millimeter is achieved. Hydrodissection is done with BSS and 27 Gauss cannula and the nucleus is mobilized. The antechamber is filled up with visco 2% SPMC and now is the time to use the FECO needle. The machine being used is Faro's from Oatley, Switzerland. And now the FECO needle is introduced into the anterior chamber. Sometimes we have to rotate the handpiece to get it inside the anterior chamber. Now the tip is buried just in front of the main incision into the substance of the nucleus goes towards the opposite equator. Then the chopper is used to get a nice crack. And now the nucleus mass is rotated on 180 degrees come to the other side of the crack and the nuclear mass is separated into two heminuclei. One heminucleus is held and it is divided into two pieces and the free nuclear pieces are emulsified with ultrasonic energy. In this case it is about 70 percent. Flow rate in this case is 40 and vacuum 400 millimeter of mercury. The free nuclear pieces are emulsified and consumed. And now we come to the other heminucleus. It is chopped into two large fragments and then each nuclear piece is tilted. It is subdivided into two more pieces and they are emulsified with ultrasonic energy and removed. So we can we can remove the pieces very easily emulsifying with ultrasonic energy. This is the last piece. At this time we can reduce the parameters to 30, 300, 30 ml per minute flow rate and 300 vacuum some pieces uh, which are at the side port are removed and now is the time to remove the cortex. Bit of visco. I am using a 22 gauze Simco to remove the cortex. At this time the visco that has been used keeps the antechamber formed for some time and we we lift the anterior wall of the main wound to keep the chamber deep. And now there is a small nuclear piece, it is escorted out of the anterior chamber. And now this is the sub incisional cortex, it is removed. And now we can see a patch of cells on the posterior capsule. I tried to remove it with the Simco, but I could not. So I take the irrigating cannula, use the irrigating jet of fluid to dislodge, see how it happens. In no time the irrigating jet of fluid dislodges the cells, the patch of cells sticking to the posterior capsule and a nice polishing of the posterior capsule is done just by the irrigating fluid irrigating jet of fluid. No vacuum is used for polishing. Thus we avoid posterior capsular rent after 
emulsification and removal of the cortex. Hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal lens has been done. This is removal of visco that was in the lumen of the cartridge. A bit of moxie is injected into the anterior chamber. Now, the side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of this stab incision. And now, a final lavage of the anterior chamber with Simcoe. At this time, a gentle stream of BSAs is directed towards the corneal endothelium through the aspirating port of the Simcoe. And all the visco that sticks to the corneal endothelium is nicely removed. We have to be very gentle at this stage. The antechamber is nicely formed. Integrity of all the wounds are checked by a cotton tipped Janssen bard. Few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. That is a totally unedited recording. I believe in you. You can do this. You just have to get surgeries. Unless you get patients a critical volume, it is very difficult to develop skills. So try to increase number of surgeries in your practice.